As European leaders scramble to implement stricter measures to curb the spread of COVID-19, Asia seems to have a tighter grip on the virus. Yesterday, for example, Singapore reported seven new infections, six of which were imported cases. Thailand and Vietnam each recorded three. Ava Turk is an associate professor in health and social sciences, and she says Asia has more experience than Europe in dealing with infectious diseases. Asia has experienced SARS and even a flu, and based on this, they knew they had to immediately deal with the, with the emergency. So the, there are basically five steps to take. This is find, test, trace, isolate, and support. And Asia has been very, very good with, you know, finding people at risk, then uh, dealing with the isolation very much. Um, then, of course, uh, testing, testing people. Uh, South, uh, South Korea has been incredible in that. In that. Um, and when we, when we talk also, for example, with, uh, with regard to Taiwan, you didn't mention Taiwan, but how uh, Taiwan mentioned, uh, managed to do it was basically taking 1% of the population and uh, isolating them. And this way, 99% of the population could, could actually live uh, almost normally. When you look at how Europe is trying to contain this infection, which part of that strategy, that five-stage process that you've just laid out, where is Europe falling down? We haven't been very good in uh, contact tracing uh, in Europe. So it's also, we have been trying to implement different apps and we have to uh, be better with regard to also con con uh, cross contact tracing. So this is where we very much need to be uh, more stringent. And it's also with regard to uh, taking in a way individual responsibility. So what we have heard from the pre previous speaker is also a way of, you know, uh, uh, being much more uh, self-aware of uh, what is going on, because we all are facing now the COVID fatigue in a way. So do you think there's a difference in sort of compliance with measures for people living in Europe than those living in Asia? Yes, uh, definitely. Uh, Asians also have... A, um, uh, in, a, in a way, higher social trust uh, that we in Europe have been experiencing as, a, as an issue. Uh, there is um, the importance of having the um, consistent messaging, and Asia has been good in that as well, better than, uh, the, the, than Europe. And it is about the leadership, you know, how, uh, how we address uh, the issue. So in this sense, I think it's... Uh, it's uh, an, Asians are, in a way, a little bit more diligent than we are uh, in, in Europe, in particular in the central and uh, uh, southern.